video on how to make the overcomplicated, over engineering, engineered um, ballpoint pen. So, showing right now how the uh, parts are printed and oriented. Um, this barrel is printed with supports uh, and everything else is printed without supports. So, it's a pretty easy print. Uh, printed on anything. Uh, also need some uh, M3 screws, a um, nut, and a socket head cap screw fastener, uh, which you can really use any, but I'll get into that later. So to start, we build the pen part. Uh, we take the plunger and stick it on the insert. You can use any pen insert. They all work just fine as long as it's just your standard cheapo one the spring goes on top of the uh, whatever that is uh, next uh, we will be inserting the pen into the body uh, it's a little bit of an interference fit on the front end to hold the old unit in place so what you do is you just push it through and it just snaps through. Uh, what I'd like to do now, throw some Vaseline just to make sure it's a smooth action. Alright, good enough. Don't need much. Uh, so next we're going to be building the linkage system uh, which starts with the handle. So the handle is just held on with a lubricant in between. This thing's real fun to play with. I sit play with it all day at work. Uh, people always wonder what the heck I'm using to write with. Uh, so make sure I'm in frame. So the handle goes like this. Then you'll use your fastener to screw into the barrel. It's an M3 thread. Oops, wrong size. And screw that in. Actually, I think I'm using the wrong one. It's been a while since I made this thing. Nope, that's the right one. Made about 10 of these for friends and family. Everybody loves them. They're pretty strong. So just screwing that in. It's threaded on the barrel. I've got a pretty rounded out Allen key. Make sure I'm in frame. This Allen key sucks. So you want it to be tight enough but still slide on its own since we don't have much force helping it. But you don't want it to wiggle because that's not cool. Alright, so that rotates. So next we'll be putting on the uh, Ah, what do they call this in kinematics? Uh, I don't remember. This linkage. It goes just like that, and then the barrel screws onto it. That's where we use this linkage. We'll put some Vaseline on it. So this gets screwed on like so. Actually. Uh, I'm going to go and thread this real quick with a M3 tap I seem to have lost. I think I can get away without it, but... Oh, my trusty M3, where'd you go? Hmm. Might be okay without it. Dang it. Thread right into the plastic. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to find that tap. That's annoying. Alright, don't need the tap. Guess my printer's dialed in good enough. So you want this to also be able to free spin. Because we don't have much force pulling it back, so that's good. Uh, next, uh, we push 
the plunger down and line up the linkages and then sink another M3 screw through. This one a little tight. I'm going to open that up. The printer's a little bit off dimensionally. Just drilled it out a hair. There we go. So, line it all up. It all screws together. Like so, make sure that's in frame. You want it to be loose again. Everything slides nicely. And after this, you'll be able to test the linkage. So if something's a little bit tight. So it actually looks like got some grinding there. Gonna need to fix that. Yeah, a little bit tight. That's okay. My printer's a little bit off, but that's how it should be. Oh, it's loosening up. Might need to lubricate it more. Uh, next, we put on the ring lock, which uh, locks the lever. Uh, it was just cool to have. Uh, and then last, you put the barrel on, and it's just a press fit. Uh, it'll just go right over the ring lock. Oh, need to round out that ID. Had a little bit of an elephant foot printing it, so just open it up doesn't matter it's not structural so if your pen insert isn't fitting just open up the hole and it'll slide right through yep pop it through uh, I would recommend gluing this right here uh, but for this I'm not going to and pop it together so next step uh, the locking mechanism so you want the pen to lock in this position uh, it should go back on its own, but I've got a little bit of a binding issue that I'll take care of. Looks like it's on the plunger. Yeah. Uh, so let me fix that real quick. Alright, through the working movie magic, got it uh, free working, just like it should. Uh, lock and everything. So the last part is to put the lock in. Uh, so I just cut a little spring in half, and then got a socket head cap screw. Uh, what you do is you put the socket head cap screw into the um, lock holder and put the spring on the back side and then just throw a nut on the end. It's not uh, mandatory to have this assembly here but I just like it being a two-step system to be extremely over-engineered and fun to play with. So now, pull the barrel back, push it up, lock it, and now it's ready to write. That's pretty fun to play with. Then you just pop it down, and you lock it, and you're done. So, pretty fun to sit and fidget with. Unlock, load, sets it, unlock, you just push the lever, pops down, and let's go and you lock it and that's uh all there is to it so hope you enjoy it thanks